Hey folks, it's time to do some simulations of a series parallel DC circuits. So we're going to start with a little voltage source series parallel combo. And what I'm interested in is finding the current coming out of the source and the voltage across this section over here. So we have a series resistor, R1, with a parallel combo of R2 in parallel with R3. So when I look at R2 in parallel with R3, 4K in parallel with 12K, that's going to work out to 3K. So I've got a 20 volt source feeding 2K in series with 3K essentially. That's a total of 5K. 20 divided by 5K tells us this exiting current should be 4 mils. 4 mils times 2K, that's going to get us 8 volts across here. And then uh, across this parallel section, VA in other words, A to ground, uh, would be that same 4 mils going through this total of 3K for 12 volts. 12 volts over 12K gets it's a mil. 12 over the 4K gets it's 3 mils. 3 and 1 is the 4 that entered. All right, so parallel combo. Voltage should be the same. Series between this and this reduced thing should be the same, right? So this current has to be equal to the sum of these two currents, right? So there's our uh, laws sort of nicely summed in this little circuit. So let's come up and do a little DC analysis here and see what we get. Okay, so right off the bat, we can see the um, uh, current out of the source is 4 mils and the 12 volts that we expected. And we can sort of poke around and look at some of the individual components. All right, there's the 8 volts and the 4 mils on this. There's the 12 volts and the 3 mils on R2. And finally, the 12 volts, 1 mil on R3. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's look at a different circuit. Voila! We'll take a look at a little current source generated thing. Same sort of deal. So here we've got a series combo. And that is in parallel with R4, which then winds up in parallel with the current source. So the parallel thing is, right, voltage is the same. So the voltage across R4 should be equal to the voltage at B to ground. In other words, the voltage of R5 and R6 added together. And then whatever this current is, the 6 mils, should split in inverse proportion to the sizes of the resistors. All right, current comes in, has to equal current coming out. Well, this series combo, 6 and 3, is 9. So I've got 9K and 18K. So this is twice the size. It should get half as much current. So in other words, it should split out to be uh, 2 mils and 4 mils. Right? We could do a current divider on that. Um, or you could just say, look, this is 9 in parallel with 18. That's 6K. All right, 6K, 6 mils, Ohm's Law. VB should be 36 volts. 36 volts divided by 18 Ks is 2 mil. Divided by 9, that's 4 mil. We can take that 4 mil and multiply by these resistors, Ohm's law, and um, you're going to get 24 volts on this and 12 volts on this. Let's see what we get. All right, there's the 36 volts we expected. There's the 6 mils continuing in. There's the 12 on the lower component. All right, and there's the 2 mils that we expected here. Looking at R5, 24 volts across it, 4 milliamps through it. Looking at R6, 12 volts across it, 4 milliamps through it. All right, so they're series. They get the same current. And that combo looks like it's in parallel with R4. So we've got 36 here, 36 volts there. KCL, 6 mil comes in, has to split between the two paths. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful.